Hey guys, in this video I did a build challenge where each room is a different season. Basically I spin a wheel and the wheel tells me which room gets each different season. So yeah, enjoy the video. I've just made like a very simple looking house and there are five rooms but there's only four seasons so we're gonna have one repeat of a season but that's okay. I'm gonna spin a wheel and then it'll tell me what season I get for each room. So this is the entry room or laundry room. This is the living room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. I got my Dr. Pepper and I am ready to go. So we're gonna first start off with the laundry room or the entry way oh my god it's got sound effects all right so this room is going to be spring theme so let's get to doing that dude i just got my eyebrows waxed today guys i genuinely don't know how i get on these topics or where this comes from but thanks for listening to me talk about my waxed eyebrows i appreciate it and let me just tell you i was so scared the wax that the lady was putting on me was so hot like i thought i was gonna die and i always get super scared when i'm getting my eyebrows waxed that they're gonna rip the skin off because i have like normal to dry skin so sometimes when i wax my eyebrows the skin comes off and then it takes like days for it to grow back and then there's just, like a huge red spot on my forehead spring laundry room okay for me spring just reminds me of flowers because it's like the entryway before summer everyone's still in school a lot of the stuff that i build is a spring style home like it's very colorful pastels so i don't think this will be too difficult to do i know you're probably looking at this and you're like noel what what is that why is this sticking out and i just want to do a cute little design i don't have a budget limit so let's just make there be a washing machine inside of a closet. I'd say a bench is pretty spring themed. This new flower pillow is actually gonna come in clutch. I think the only issue with spring is that's when all the bugs start coming out and I am deadly afraid of bugs. Oh my God, don't even get me started, bro. I remember this one time, the first time I got stung by a bee. It was like my first day when I finished school. I was maybe in third grade and I was so happy. I was like, yay, I'm done with school. Oh my God, my life is going so good. And this like bee, I felt something sting my neck. So, you know, the usual thing when you feel something on your neck you'd like slap it off i put my hand on my neck and the bee was a yellow jacket so it just kept stinging and singing so i got like six bee stings as my very first time getting stung by a bee it was horrible but i did find out that i was not allergic thankfully but that was like the worst experience so now i'm very scared of bees but at least now i don't put my hand where it is they also just like make really loud noise for no reason like why are you doing all that doing way too much here's how the laundry room is looking at the moment very pastel very floral it's a nice entryway i think you can guess the season if someone asked you just from all the flowers and then i also added this tulip decal and a paris decal with like cherry blossoms just because usually cherry blossoms are blooming when spring comes and now we shall move on to the next room the living room <laughs> I'm kind of glad we got winter because I didn't want to do spring and summer right next to each other. We're gonna need to do like a darker floor then. Something blue. But honestly, anytime I think of winter, I just go straight to Christmas. Maybe this is just a me thing, but I have already started making my Christmas list. Is that a bad thing? Usually during Christmas time, when it comes around the corner, everyone's like, oh, what do you want for Christmas? I have no idea. Like I just draw a blank. So I've started doing it where I literally just make a Google doc and then I just write things that I want as I go. So this way I don't forget them. So then when people ask me what I want, I'm like, oh, well, here's this. Except the issue is now, my list is so incredibly long because of how much stuff I want. And it'll be like the most random things that come in my mind. Like for example, I saw, I'll like go on TikTok and on my For You page, it'll be like a pink digital camera. And I have absolutely no need for a digital camera. I have a phone. Like a phone is what people use now. I was like, wait, a pink Samsung digital camera i think i need that for christmas so i wrote it down i honestly have no idea how much it costs because i'm just afraid to check but like right now my list has about 15 things on it and it's literally only june so by the time christmas comes i'm gonna have so much stuff that i'm gonna ask for because usually during christmas time i'll like go to a store and then i'll be like oh maybe i'll want that and then i'll just say i want that for christmas and then when i get it i'm like wait i don't think i actually want this so then i end up returning it but i always never know what i want for christmas See, the good thing is I have a lot of Christmas stuff from past updates that I just, I dedicate a plot for every update. I'll go in the catalog and I'll go into the new tab, which is like this thing. And whenever there's seasonal stuff, I'll literally just spam a plot full of stuff. I'll get like a million trees, a million snowflakes, any type of Christmas item or Valentine's Day, like all that stuff. I will have it. Same with the bakery items. I will stock up. I will make so many different treats and I will stock up. And this is just because I stage my houses for pictures. So when I take a picture and post it on Twitter, I need to make sure my house looks so good and it looks like it's lived in so i put the desserts and all that stuff so last year during the christmas update i put all the christmas stuff on my blush mansion plot and i don't think i've deleted it yet so it's all just sitting there and 
I should probably delete it because it's been six months since I've placed it. At least I'm actually getting use out of these things because I actually never use them. Because the only time you're actually going to use Christmas items is when, one, the week before the Christmas update comes out when it's like about to be Christmas. But I think lately Blocksburg's been pretty, they get the updates out pretty quick so you don't need to really use any of the things in the catalog. I mean, sometimes Blocksburg's a little slow and so it'll be like November and I'm like, okay, I need to start doing Christmas videos now so I'm prepared because obviously it takes a lot of time to make videos. Well, maybe that's just me. I'm, I'm really slow, but we already knew this. All my regular viewers, we know I'm slow. When I did speed builds, I used to record them back in early November, and then I would just use like last year's Christmas stuff just so I was ahead. But now, I think with the new owners, they get updates out really fast, so I'm hoping that they'll get out Christmas update items in November, because everyone wants Christmas stuff as soon as Halloween ends. Like, we just skip over Thanksgiving, we just go straight to Christmas. The worst though is, I was making a speed build in January when the Christmas items were still available. I always plan my builds before recording the speed build just because it's easier for me, because when I build on the spot, I'm slow. When I went to build the house for the video they took out all the christmas update items and the thing was half the house was literally christmas update stuff so i was like shoot i need to scrap all of this and redo it they had icicle lights which are basically string lights but they were a little different like they just like dangled down i think i have some in my inventory okay so this is what they look like and i had them all around the house so i had to remove the string lights completely from the build just because they removed it from the update and i mean it's not that big of a deal but it added a little sparkle to the house so it was important to me if you guys are wondering which house that is that was my it was this one the blush winter family home and you can see the thumbnail it's right there those are the icicle lights i can't go over it. it's gonna play the video but those are the icicle lights right there it was very tragic i have decided to scrap everything and redo this because i am just i'm not feeling the living room design so here's what i changed it to and then i'll add something over here because obviously you need to be able to walk through and i think originally with the other design i had there was no room to walk i just moved my mic closer to me because i felt like it was so far away and i sounded really quiet you guys want some asmr how do you do that what if i like tap on the mic do you hear that i don't have on like fake nails right now so it doesn't sound like anything Hello, use code ROSE. <laughs> okay, that's enough. It's like directly in my field of view and it's making me mad because right now I see it. It's like in the way. Like, you know when you wear glasses and then you, your frames, you could see them when you're wearing them, but then eventually your mind like convinces you that you can't see them anymore. So then you don't notice it. Well, right now, that's how the mic is. I see it and it's like in my field of view and it's not going away. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely going for more of a minimalistic look with this room because I'm going instead of really for like aggressive Christmas vibes We're going for soft Christmas snowy day. Here's how the room's looking with all the decals done I think this might be my favorite room so far. I'm already only two rooms in It's very simple but detailed with the gingerbread man and the snowflakes. You can definitely figure out which season this is Hello, whoever's still watching this video make sure to join my clothing group where I post UGC items and very cute clothes and also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be uploading lots of videos. That is all. Thank you. XO, XO. Next, we're going to do this bedroom. Okay, so I got spring again, but I don't want to reuse them multiple times. So just for the last room, we can have a season repeated. But until then, I don't want to do the same ones. We got summer this time. I think a summer bedroom is very doable. Instantly when I think of summer, I just, summer I turn pretty. Who's watched that show? It's on Amazon Prime. I'm so excited for season two. It comes out July 14th. Guys, are you team Conrad or team Jeremiah? Because I am team Conrad. Very sorry to all the team Jeremiah's out there. For a summer bedroom, it's usually just all different types of blue and then very bright colors, like super neon pink. And I think of a beach ball. That's what I think of. Or a vacation home, like somewhere if you're going on vacation. In my last video, when I asked for anime recommendations, I did look at the comments. So if you gave me a recommendation, thank you. I did watch some shows. I watched Romantic Killer on Netflix and that was actually a really good show. I hate how long it takes to get a season two for an anime. I mean, understandable. They do take a lot of time to make, but like I'm impatient. Like even for the summer I turned pretty, we had to wait an entire year. Actually it was longer than a year because it came out in June. I know there's plushies that are similar to summer animals. What are they, what are they called? Where do you find the summer toys? Is that in Baby and Kids? <gasps> oh, they moved a lot of stuff. I forgot about this. Hey, where's the squid? Ah, I see, soft toys. Is there any sea creatures? I need the squid to be sitting on the pillow. We're going to pretend this is a surfboard and the squid is <laughs> is riding a surfboard. Okay guys, we're gonna name the squid. Mm, 
we're gonna name the squid Roach as usual. And the Roach is going to be riding a surfboard. So since we have this little squid over here, I'm gonna put another one in here and then make it look like this is a fish tank. And we'll pretend there's fish in there. These flowers are gonna be our coral. I'm gonna use a basic shape to make a fake backing of the aquarium just because the original backing is clear. And I'm gonna put a decal on it and then we'll put a fake wallpaper that looks like an aquarium. All the free images of an aquarium are so strange. I don't think any of these would work, but I might have something in my inventory. I think this decal could work because it's got the ocean looking vibe and there's turtles and turtles are sometimes in not fish tanks, but aquariums. So I think this is what we're gonna use. I genuinely have no idea why I just tried so hard on an aquarium, but it turned out good. So I guess worth it. So here's how the summer bedroom looks. I tried to make it more tropical so you know that this is summer and not spring. So we have the cute little fish tank here, storage, a lot of summer looking jewelry. And then we have like the squid and the summer Polaroids on the wall. Okay, so since there's only one season left for us to technically do, which is fall, instead of picking the season because we already used the other seasons, I'm gonna do it where we pick Pick which room gets the fall season, if that's the kitchen or the bathroom. So kitchen is gonna get the fall theme, and then for the bathroom we'll just- we'll repeat another one. I think for me, fall just straight up reminds me of Halloween. That's literally the only thing that comes to mind, and starting school, but mostly just Halloween. And let me just say that during Halloween, I start planning my costume months in advance. I start planning in August because I need to make sure I have a very good costume, and it has to be extremely unique. I don't like having the same costumes. People are like having a very basic one, but I'm just- I'm a very extra person, so that's definitely why. One year I did Fairy Prince so I like bought I bought a corset off Amazon and I made it myself So I got like my own skirt corset wings tiara I think I spent a little bit too much money because everything I bought was separate So I spent a lot of money on it, but it looked really good and I was happy with it So and then this year I was Sailor Moon for Halloween. So this year I don't know what I'm gonna be yet But I know the Barbie movie is coming out So I'm hoping there's a really cute outfit from the movie that I'll want to be for Halloween or honestly I could be the Little Mermaid I think the other distinct thing about fall is just whenever you walk into a grocery store You instantly smell cinnamon all the stores put out scented items. There's like rooms that are scented with cinnamon and those oh my god those smell so good oh yeah guys i forgot to tell you if you remember my ugc of twyla which was the cat i made it was like a few years ago i made it i recently put out two recolors of the cat so now there's a pink and a gray one so if you wanted the cat in a different color and you didn't want an orange tabby cat now there's a gray one and a pink one so if you have a gray cat in real life you can now have one in roblox too that looks like it i don't think you have a pink cat in real life but if you did you can always get it to match too although one time i did see a lady where she dyed her poodle's hair. The dog had pink tips. It was actually the funniest thing ever. I was in a nail salon and the dog was getting a pedicure. And I kid you not, I did not think this- I thought I was in a movie. I felt like I was in that movie Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Because that's literally what it felt like. The dog was getting pampered for like one of those shows. I don't know if it was for a show, but that's what it reminded me of. For fall, I mean, I know there's red, but I don't- I'm not really someone that uses red in my builds. I think using orange and like a super light purple and a pinkish red looks a lot better because it just looks more cozy to me. I did a green wall because there's some green colors in fall. The leaves and the grass. Uh oh, what, who is that? Why is he always in my neighborhood? Like, oh my god, go work somewhere else. What are you doing? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> we see the sunset panning behind him. Bye. What a roach. I think my hyper fixation for this video is using these square paintings. I don't know, they just seem to match any vibe of the house. I don't know, they just seem to go with everything. This is where my inventory items come in clutch because I have so many pumpkins. Here's how the kitchen's looking. Honestly, this turned out way better than I anticipated. I was like really stuck on what to do for a fall themed kitchen because I didn't want it to look too much like Halloween and too orange. I think there's like a very soft tone, but you can definitely get the autumn vibe from it. All right, and now last but not least, we have the bathroom. This one is gonna be a repeat of one of the other rooms because there's only four seasons, but that's okay because I actually liked all the themes we did. So this will be fun. 
All right, we got fall again, which honestly I'm not mad about because I just did a fall room. So like I have ideas going in my head. The bathroom is actually like really big. So we have a lot of room to do a lot of things. So I think I'm gonna make a very large counter. And the good thing is because I already did this season, technically I can copy paste some stuff. So the house is finally done. We did all the rooms with all different themes. Let's take a tour. So here's the laundry room slash entryway. This was the spring themed room. I think honestly we nailed that there's lots of flowers everywhere. Super pastel. Then as we go in we have the winter room which is the living room. It's like winter slash Christmas. I think this one looks really adorable too. I used a lot of inventory items just because I had them on hand which definitely helped with the theme. You can for sure tell that it's winter. I mean, maybe not, maybe it's just me, but I think snowflakes and the Christmas present and the gingerbread definitely give it away. And then as we move to the kitchen, we have the fall themed kitchen with all the pumpkins and a very like orange and purple color scheme. I think it looks really nice. We have the pumpkin lights and pumpkins for my inventory. I think we have a really nice color scheme for this kitchen. I was so stressed because I didn't know how I was supposed to do this and I didn't plan any of this. Like this was all just on the spot and it actually turned out really nice. And then here is the summer bedroom. So we have like a very vacation home styled room with all the summer decor, an aquarium, the Polaroid wall, cause typically in the summer you take pictures with your friends and all that stuff. And then the beachy bed with the wooden background. This texture with the color reminds me of a beach. And then I did water textured carpets. You get that pool vibe, ocean theme. And then lastly, we have the fall bathroom. Definitely matches the kitchen, which is what I liked. It was really lucky that we spun and we got the same theme for the kitchen and the bathroom because they're right next to each other. So it's like very cohesive. Then we have pumpkins. I added a decal to match the bathroom. Decals are in my Roblox inventory. Just follow my account. And then we have this sun mirror, which is, it gave me like fall vibes. And then of course the nice carpet and flowers. But yeah, I was really unsure of doing this challenge because I thought I was going to do really bad at it. But honestly, I'm so proud of how this turned out. The rooms look so so nice. I actually love the fall color scheme. It might be my favorite. Actually, I don't know what room is my favorite because each room has like a very individual style to it. Comment down below what your favorite room is because I'm genuinely curious which one do you guys like the best. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye guys. Hey guys, I just released a brand new home store. It's a super cute pink boutique. So here we have the outside with a nice little fountain and there's clothes everywhere. So we have like this nice little Parisian street with all the cute cute clothes and you can click on the mannequins and try them on. Almost everything in this store is pink themed. So if you're looking for pink clothing, this is the place to get it. If you're looking for more clothing, just walk through these doors with each different home store label and it'll teleport you to my other group's games. This game is linked under my Roblox group as Twyla's Pink Cafe. Thanks guys. You know you love me. XOXO. French Roses Girl.